I'm the first African-American woman to achieve three stars in the United States military. I was 12 and I saw a documentary on TV about um, Service Academy. The teamwork and uh, leadership opportunity and people marching around, it, it just really appealed to me. And it was a lot. Women were not allowed to attend Service Academy. At 16, the law changed. President Ford signed in the new law and I was able to apply the next year when I was 17 and I was accepted and I started Annapolis when I was 18. So when I came into the Navy, it was about 5% women. This was 1978, and um, women at the service academies was very new. Men really just, I don't think they were ready. And so it was uh, much of a, much friction and much of a struggle for the women in those first few years. And then while I was there, the Navy opened ships to women. So I was on an ammunition ship, and which meant I went to a ship that actually deployed. For us, the, the epitome, I think, of a career is having command of a ship, and uh, it is uh, an honor and a privilege to have that opportunity. It was not so much about being the first African-American woman to have command, but to actually have command of a Navy ship. And if you make a terrible mistake, the whole ship goes down. The deepness of that responsibility stays with you every day while you're in command.